Hey yo, what's good reader fam? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm bringing you another reading vlog and this reading vlog is being sponsored by Quirk Books. I'm actually filming this intro after having already filmed this whole reading vlog. I've already finished reading the book, but I started editing and I realized that I didn't film an intro. So here I am filming an intro. My bad. Also, just to forewarn you, this is one of the most like dysfunctional vlogs I've ever filmed. I guess that's the best word to describe it. It's just kind of all over the place. So prepare yourself for some vlog whiplash. Anyway, this week on the vlog, I read The Princess and the Fangirl by Ashley Poston. This book is basically set in the same world as Geekerella, this book right here that I love. There's this big sci-fi franchise called Starfield, and they just recently had a movie reboot that did amazingly well. We follow two characters. One is a fangirl, and one is an actress from the movie. The actress, Jessica, is just kind of done with being a part of Starfield. Like, she's ready to close that chapter. But our fangirl, Imogen, is like campaigning to save her character in the movie. What ends up happening is that Jessica, the actress, is handed a script for the sequel movie, and she doesn't realize that it's the script, so she just, like, throws it away. Next thing she knows, it's being leaked all over the internet, and it could be a bad situation if the studio finds out that it's her fault. This is all taking place at this big fan conference, something that I would say is similar to Comic-Con. So Jessica seeks out the help of Imogen, who looks just like Jessica. They switch <laughs> roles. Imogen goes and acts like she's Jessica at all these panels and meet and greets. Meanwhile, the actual Jessica is running around trying to find out who is leaking this script and trying to get them to stop because it could screw up her career. So yeah, this is the book that I read this week. This is the Book Explosion Book of the Month for the month of May. Our live show is going to be on May 25th at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time over on the Book Explosion channel. So I will leave a link down below in the description to that channel. Go subscribe. And without further ado, I bring you a messy, dysfunctional vlog. Enjoy! Hello and welcome back to Reading Updates in the Car with your host, Jesse the Reader. Ah, oh, yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll cut it out, I'll cut, cut it out, guys. Really? Realistically, I should be the one cutting it out. So far, I've read to page 65 in The Princess and the Fangirl, and so far, I am loving it. ba da ba 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 I'm loving it. I don't know how Ashley Poston does it, but she, like, throws all this happy energy into the tone of her writing. Like, the characters might not be in the most happiest of situations, but it still just has this overflowing feeling of happiness. I don't understand how she does it. It's quite literally a mystery, but you just can't help but find yourself smiling while reading this book because it's that happy. I'm really enjoying the characters so far. I'm interested to see where the story is going. I feel like I have an idea where it's going, but I'm not quite sure how it's going to come to the conclusion, so I'm looking forward to finding that out. Today is a very exciting day because one of my best friend's books was released today. They gave birth to their book. I'm sure you guys already know what book I'm talking about. My buddy old pal Jesus released a new version of the Bible. My friend just released a new version of the dictionary. My best friend E.L. James just released a new book. Okay, 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 okay. Can I get a drum roll, please? Again But Better by Christine Riccio is released today. Hey! What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna venture out in public, which I don't do very often. This is a very big day for me. I'm gonna need a moment of silence. Thank you. I'm gonna go to Target, which I normally have this rule with myself where I don't go to Target unless it's right at opening because I can't deal with the absurd amount of people that show up to Target on the daily. Like, what y'all doing? You're coming here with one thing in mind and you know that you're gonna leave the store with 50 things. 50 things you don't need. But I'm breaking my rule today. It's nine o'clock and I'm going to Target. Lord help me. Look at me being a rule breaker. Bad to the bone. Burr, nah, 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 nah. Then I'm going to Barnes & Noble. My happy place. The happiest place. My playground of choice, if you will. I guess I should specify why I'm going to both Target and Barnes and Noble. The reason for this is because there's two special editions of Again But Better, one at Target and one at Barnes and Noble. And because I'm a super duper good friend, I gotta get both. All right, enough rambling, let's go. did it, I got both books. I feel so proud right now. I was actually very concerned when I went to Target because I couldn't find it anywhere. Then I saw the little sticker that was like, again, but better. But there were no books. And I was like, excuse me? But then I noticed that there was a guy stocking the books. So I just kind of walked around for like 30 minutes, came back and it was there. Then I went to Barnes and Noble, found the book, snatched it up. And while I was going to get this book, I saw a girl talking to her dad being like, this book sounds really good. And I kid you not, I almost got a little bit emotional because I was like, that's my best friend's book that you're holding right there. That's my best friend's book that you're 
you're gonna take home with you and read. I cannot. I'm emotional. Anyway, both these books have different exclusives. They both have different hardbacks. Target Edition's got a watermelon. Barnes and Noble has French toast, which both of these things combined is a nod to something in the book. So read the book and you'll find out what I mean. Christine, if you're watching this, I'm super proud of you. Congrats on the release of your book. I'm excited to start collecting your books and eventually one day have a full shelf of Christine Riccio books. All right, the friend gush fest is over for now. It's a bit later and I am now at Maureen's house. Room, New room house, room. New, room. New room. Guess why I was called over. To help me organize books. That's right. <laughs> what am I good for? Organizing books, that's all. Pretty much. But we're also gonna eat pizza. I'm excited about that. Pizza! Pizza, give Krusty me pizza! 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 We got this far. There's still a lot of stacks down here, but we're capping it for the night. I got tired. She got tired. Bessie moved most of the books. <laughs> That's right. Also, while I was moving the books, I noticed like all the books that I had given her. Yeah. Also, the other great thing that happened was Jesse was like, this is the last stack. I moved it in. I'm so excited. And then I was like, well, did you get the books? Over? And then I was like, oh no, there's not all of them. Like, all of my Shadowhunter books were missing. And I was like, did you look at these? books. It was like, oh no. There to be fair, they were kind of hidden. They were. They were definitely hidden, but it was funny. Yeah, I was like, oh wow, she's, she did get rid of a lot of books because she was saying how she got rid of a lot of books. And I was like, wow, I'm really impressed. Yeah. Not that many. <laughs> Not that many, but you did still get rid of quite a few. I'm proud yeah, of you. You did. They're all in my back. My car to sell. <laughs> my back of my car. So she didn't really get rid of them. Well, I'm selling them. Yes, gotcha. I got a haircut. I hate it. I don't want to talk about it. But the good thing is that my hair grows fast. So it'll be back to normal in no time. But I'm going to Dallas, Texas tomorrow for the Again But Better event that I get to moderate, which I'm super excited about. It'll be nice to see Christine. My parents are coming because I really want to meet Christine. I wasn't planning on like buying a new outfit or anything for this event. But then I walked into Kohl's today and I found this shirt that has bananas all over. Over it. And I'm like, I can't not buy this and wear it for the event because pulling bananas. <laughs> ah. So yeah, I have a new outfit for the event. Yeehaw! Ooh, the Texan in me jumped out. I'm not a Texan. Why did I just say that? Anyway, I also have a reading update for you guys. I've been reading The Princess and the Fangirl and I've been loving it. This book has been bringing up so many interesting discussions that I wasn't even expecting it to bring up. A big part of this book is the fact that Jessica is an actress and some things that have been brought up surrounding her being an actress have been really interesting to think about. Just like how we kind of dehumanize actors and how we just like assume things about them and how we kind of like project how we feel they should act or be just because their actors. So that's been like a really interesting aspect of this story. I'm not gonna lie though, her character has been driving me crazy a little bit. Just, just a little bit. But I'm hoping that there's some character development. But I don't know, we'll see. And I'm also pretty sure there's gonna be like an enemies to lover relationship situation in this, which is something that I love in books. I honestly haven't read a lot of books where that's been a thing, but I wanna read more books where that's a thing because I think that's something that I really like in books. Even still though, I'm not really somebody who's big on romance in books, but friends to lovers, enemies to to lovers. I'm a sucker for those two things. So yeah, those are some of my current thoughts on this book and I will update you guys again when I get further into it. I'm here at Half Price Books in Dallas getting ready for the event. I've got my banana shirt on. I'm waiting on Christine to get here. Her driver went to the wrong place, but she's on her way. Also, I'm wearing a coat because it's freezing in Dallas. I didn't know it was going to be cold here. It should be warm. Why isn't it warm? Anyway, I'm excited to talk to Christine about again, but better. Oh my gosh, Yay! it's your signing. Oh my God, I haven't vlogged. You haven't vlogged? How does it feel to have your name on a big sign? Insane. So insane. Oh my god, what? <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hi everybody, thank you for coming tonight. <laughs> You're ruining this Christine. I'm excited to be here tonight with Christine Riccio! Yeah. Something that I love about this book is the fact that Shane is just like super inexperienced. <laughs> She's super like kind of inexperienced when it comes to love. And I feel like in our society, in our world, people are teased for like not having experience, not having like the first kiss or the first relationship. What was it like the, making that part of the character? I mean like for me that was a very important part of her character because that was something that really made me feel shitty as a college student. But people make you feel so shitty about it and you never see yourself like that in the book. That's what I needed to see when I was that age to make me not feel intensely insecure all the time.
Yo dudes, I have a super small reading update. I don't have any really new thoughts except for the fact that I have a new ship in the book that I am on board with and I hope that it sails. But it's one of those relationships where you're not sure which way it's gonna go. I'm currently heading to the theater to see Endgame, which might be my Endgame. I'm sure nobody has ever made that joke. I just honestly don't know how I'm gonna survive this film. I have somehow managed not to be spoiled, but I am going into this film knowing that some of my faves are going bye-bye. We'll update you on my non-spoilery thoughts after the film. Let's go. I saw it. Wow, I saw it. I saw the movie. I saw the dang thing. I'm not gonna say anything because I don't want to spoil anything, but I... I freaking saw it. And that's saying enough. That's saying plenty. I survived, but I think I'm gonna have to rewatch it to know how I fully feel about the film. I'm gonna be honest, but I saw it. Yep, okay. Back to normal life. If life can be normal after seeing that movie, I don't know. Let's find out together, friends. Update time, I'm in bed. I've been reading for like an hour. Yeehaw. I've been saying yeehaw so much lately, I really need to stop. Why is it something that I've started to say? Anyway, I'm getting ready to turn off the lights and go to bed because your boy is tired but I just wanted to pop in here and say that I've been loving this book. I have like 50 pages left, so I'm for sure gonna be able to bang it out tomorrow. And I'm super excited to see how it comes to a close. Something that I've been loving is just like the character dynamics between each other, because they all don't necessarily really like each other. I feel like there's a lot of growth with their connections and like, and they begin to like understand each other and put themselves in each other's shoes. And it's just really cool to see. And something that I really like seeing, it's not like everybody in the cast is like enemies with each other, but there's just certain characters that definitely didn't understand each other when they first met and to like see the process of them like understanding each other has been really cool. I don't know if I'm making any sense. It's late right now. I need to go to sleep. So I'm going to turn off the lights and go to sleep. Good night. It's me again, the guy from the intro. As you guys already know, I finished The Princess and the Fangirl by Ashley Poston. So I guess I will share my thoughts on this book with you now. Basically, I loved it. I want Ashley Poston just to continue writing in this world. Like give us like 10, 12, 30 books in this series and I'd be okay with it. I honestly feel like she could continue writing in this world for as long as she pleases because there's so much that you could do with it. So Ashley, if you're watching this, which I know you're not watching this, why would you watch this? But if you are, keep writing in this series, in this world. I need more. Give me more. I do know that we're for sure getting another book set in this kind of world, so I'm excited about that. I keep talking about it like it's a fantasy story. It's not a fantasy story. It's a contemporary story. But in this book, we see a lot of the characters from this book, so that's why I'm just like saying this world, because like we see characters from this. You know what I mean? You get it? I think something that Ashley does so well is that while her characters are going through like quite a few hardships, the books still remain to have like this super happy tone to them. And reading these books just make me so happy. Like if I ever need a pick me up book, I'm going to go right to these books because they're so happy and they make me so happy. They're also super hecka relatable because they surround kind of the fandom world. And I'm a big old fanboy over here. So I relate to a lot of things that go down in these books. I'm trying to think if I have anything negative to say, because I feel like I need to make my review here more balanced, but I just can't think of anything. I will say that this book does have a lot of similarities to this book, not only in the fact that it takes place in the fandom world, but like the situation at hand is very similar to the plot of Geekerella. So I would have liked to have seen kind of a different angle with the story, but realistically, that's not a big deal. Overall, I love this book. As you guys can tell, I'm over here just like gushing about it. And if you want to read a happy-go-lucky book about fandoms, highly recommend checking this book out. Also check this book out. I would say read this book before this book. It's not like necessary. You don't have to, but like you should because this book is great and this book is great. So read this, then read this and well, bam, you've got it made. You guys should let me know down below in the comments if you have read The Princess and the Fangirl and what you thought of it, or if you've read Geekerella and your thoughts on that too. If you haven't, then just let me know down below in the comments a book that you've read and loved recently, a book that you just want to gush about. Gush with me. Let's make some gushers in the comments. Why did I just say that? If you like this video, be sure to go and hit that like button. If you want to see more bookish content from me, be sure to go and hit subscribe or go and hit that bell icon and you'll be notified every time I post new videos. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope your day is bright and that tomorrow is brighter. Keep reading what your heart desires and I will see you soon with a new video. Bye! -o.